Welcome. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Councillors. Uh, my name is Ryan Weber. I'm the new owner of Token Smoke Shop on Southwest 3rd Street here in Corvallis. Today I'm here to talk to you specifically about Municipal Code 8.10.020, specifically subsections 7 and 8, um, which enforce the 1,000-foot rule between tobacco retailers here in the city. Uh, being that my shop is nestled between a Safeway and a Dairy Mart, this ordinance prevents my shop from having a tobacco license. Um, having reviewed the code itself and its the circumstances around its implementation in 2017, there are some concerns that I would like to address today. Um, in the notes or minutes rather from 2017, it was recorded that Councillor Lytle was worried about the unintended consequences of this ordinance and Councillor Page was worried that this would be overstepping the council's bounds by limiting retailers that are selling the same product. Unfortunately, both of these worries have come to fruition. The implementation of this ordinance has created an unfair business equity in our Corvallis market. As of now, because of this ordinance, my only competition in, in town has monopoly on all specialty tobacco products, limiting free business competition in this specific marketplace. I turn away multiple customers every day that are in search of these products, and it is a convenience that should be available in downtown Corvallis, but is not. I understand the community's plea from 2017 to keep tobacco brands from targeting kids and those of the impoverished community, but a thousand foot rule doesn't make sense for a condensed business zone in our downtown area, or that is like our downtown area. Beyond that, children will have more exposure to these brands in our local grocery store and convenience stores than they will in my shop, being that they have to be over 21 years of age to enter my shop. There also doesn't seem to be any sort of pathway to exemption within the ordinance itself. So where to go from there, I'm not sure. Um, I know it is not this council's responsibility to address the decisions made by previous councils, but it was recorded in those minutes of that meeting that the council was asked to revisit this ordinance in one year's time to see how it impacted the community. I don't want this ordinance removed, but rather I'm here to ask that this council please revisit this ordinance and consider rewriting it to make it more dynamic for our city. A change I'd like you to consider would be changing the verbiage to exempt shops that are specifically for those that are 21 years of age or older. If you don't see that as possible, I would like you to please consider giving my specific shop an exemption. As a small business owner, I want to contribute to the city of Corvallis and help it grow and be here and be a part of that. Instead of being hindered, I'd like to be present. And that's it, thank you. All right, thank you. Questions, councilors? Councilor Lytle and then Councilor Napak. Hi, Ryan. Hello. Um, yes, I, I remember back then and um, about unintended consequences coming up and perhaps a year was a little too soon to see the impact um, that it would have on business and um, those trying to sell unique products um you know my wheels are spinning but this is something that perhaps um i sit down with the city attorney economic development manager or city manager a few of us could have some solution forward so, ideas, so counselor that's but, um that if kind you of leave discussion your contact for later during our yep council reports if you want to exactly. bring something forward in community comments my point was leave your contact information with the city recorder and we'll definitely follow up with you absolutely thank you councilor napak yes that was my my question to you is if you could uh, leave your contact information or send it to uh, the council with uh, your written comments absolutely thank you okay the other questions councilors all right thank you thank you very much uh, next is uh, Chris Jancilla. Hello, hi, uh, Mr. Mayor, council members. I am here on uh, behalf to support Ryan Weber. Um, in 2017, uh, that ordinance that passed, uh, let me go back a little bit. Ryan is a tenant of mine. He signed a contract, a lease, to open up a smoke shop. 
doing his due diligence, he found out that he had to go to the uh, Corvallis Police Department to get a tobacco license. Upon that, we found this ordinance um, that he could know that he cannot have a tobacco license because he is less than a thousand feet of uh, the Dairy Mart and the Safeway. In the uh, meeting in 2017, Benton County Health Department uh, did a presentation saying that the thousand foot rule would create a safer, healthier community and it would keep tobacco out of the hands, out of minors. Well, if you go into Dairy Mart, Safeway or any gas station, minors are exposed to tobacco products. So I don't think that that was a sufficient reason why the thousand foot rule should be in place. Ryan's shop is a 21 plus only to get into his shop. Um, he has no advertisements targeting children, targeting minors, nothing on the outside of his building that would indicate that he's even selling tobacco. But within the uh, central business district zone, how condensed it is, a thousand feet is everything. Whereas on 9th Street or Circle Boulevard, a thousand feet is no problem. So upon looking at the, uh, the minutes from the 2017, I would like to request that City Council, I know you're under no obligation, but to revisit this ordinance and to hear from other businesses in the Central Business District. And I've spoke uh, many times with Simon Date and he supports this as well. If we could revisit this at some point to either make an exception or a variance, I don't know what you wanna call it, for 21 and older shops, specialty tobacco products such as cigars. There's not a cigar shop in this town, things like that. And um, it's, it's, it's just unfair that this ordinance does not support small business, especially in the Central Business District. Thank you. All right, thank you. And I, quick questions, but I also want to clarify my comments to Councilor Lytle earlier, which it, our normal practice is uh, in the council report section of the meeting is where council can talk about, did they want to ask staff to establish some future, take some actions, do some things, and so that'll be the opportunity to see whether that's council wants to move in that direction. So we'll we could come back to that later depending on their interest. So it looks like Councillor Napak, you had a question. Yes, hi, hi, Christina. Hi, Jen. Uh, have the uh, other businesses, uh, Dairy Mart and Safeway, been contacted in this regard? Uh, there was support, yes, um, not by anybody official, but from me and from y Ryan as well, and they are in support. They are grocery stores. They're not a specialty shop. They just have tobacco shops as ancillary products. And we're asking for, this is a specialty shop. And that's all, you know, that's all he caters to is that type of product, a nicotine product. All right. Anything else, counselors? Not? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Then I believe we have Virginia Lucker remote. 